Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. I'm hoping you're having a beautiful Sabbath day today. Um, as we get ready to start a Sabbath school class, I'm going to tell you a story about a girl named Kelly. Her and her little sister, they lived on a big farm, and they used to love to go play out in the cornfield. And they would play out there all day, and when Mom would want them, she would have a cowbell, and she would just ring it. And so the girls know it was time to eat. Or if she really needed them for something else, she would just ring it, ring it, ring it, ring it. And the girls would come running when she needed their attention. Well, in our story today, we're going to learn about Moses, how he had to get the Israelites' attention. And so let's just pray now and ask God to be with us in our Sabbath school class today. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for our Sabbath school today that we can come learn about you and what you want us to teach what you want to teach us we just ask that your holy spirit be with us now lord we ask this in your precious name amen so as we start our sabbath school class today moses god had asked him to build not to build but to make two silver trumpets so when he needed to get a hold and gather all the israelites together he would have them and so when he needed them he would blow two silver trumpets and that meant that all the Israelites needed to come together because Moses needed to talk to them. Or if he just blew one silver trumpet, that meant he only needed to talk to the leaders. And so God had Moses blow two trumpets because he wanted all the Israelites to come together because it was time to leave Mount Sinai and they were getting ready to get closer to the, the land of Canaan where God had promised them that they were going to be able to live. And so they started, and after a couple days, you know what happened? They started complaining. They were like, oh, we're so tired of this manna. And they, one thing after another, and it wasn't long God heard them, and he just decided that, okay, if you want something different, he sent a wind, and all these quail came in and landed, and so they were able to eat the quail do you have a little brother a little sister and when your mom calls you and asks you to do something you say yes mama i'm coming and then your little brother or sister goes yes mama i'm coming to you but what happens when dad says okay johnny i need you to pick up your toys now and you go oh dad i don't want to pick up my toys and then your little brother goes and i don't want to pick up my toys either is that what god wants us to do no well what happened when the israelites got all the quail they ate so much they made themselves sick and not only did they make themselves sick some of them even died because they ate so many and that's not what god wants you to do is it Susan and Tracy, they were getting ready for Sabbath, and so they were making um, special chocolate chip cookies for Sabbath dinner, and they made them on Friday, and they put them on the bottom shelf of their cupboard, and um, they went to church, but you know what happened? They had a big sheepdog named Chip. I don't have a big sheepdog, but I have this little doggy here. We'll just pretend like he's a big dog. And why... They were at church. You know what happened? Chip started snooping and he found those chocolate chip cookies. And when they came home from church, guess what they found? They found an empty plate of cookies. Every one of them were gone. Poor Chip. He didn't feel good that day. And he could even go for a Sabbath afternoon walk. He just lay there. He was miserable. Do you know, boys and girls? That's how Jesus wants us to be, too. He doesn't want us to overeat on unhealthy food or to, to overeat. And so let's try to eat just the right amount because what happens if you don't, you don't feel good and then you're not very happy, are you? Well, as we continue on with our story, they continue to, live, uh, to move along. And Moses, they got really close to um Canaan and so Moses decided when they got close there he wanted to pick 12 men and so the 12 men were going to be spies do you know what a spy is 
a spy is someone that goes into another country and checks it out to see what's what it's like and so moses sent 12 spies in and they were going to check out to see what the people were like see what the gardens were like what the food was like and um so he also said when you go there bring back some of the the fruit so we can see what it's like and so on the way back they found out wow this is just one bunch of grapes the grapes were so big and so when the spies came back they were carrying these grapes and they were very pleased at what they saw but then the men had to give their report of what they saw 10 of the men gave a bad report they were said oh my oh, let's see what the bible says about it it says we saw giants and we were like little grasshoppers to them oh we can never never fight against those and people and win and as they got to talking the people started to believe what they were saying but then Caleb and Joshua they were two of the brave spies they came back and they were saying even though they're great and big um, um, giants that live in Canaan. You know what? The Lord your God who goes before you, he will fight for you. That's our memory verse this week. Deuteronomy 1.30. They weren't worried about those spies. You know what else it says in the Bible? It said, it says, if the Lord delights in us, then he will bring us into this land and give it to us. This land that flows with milk and honey. Who do you think they had their eyes on? They had their eyes on Jesus. And they weren't worried about the big giants because God had promised it to them. But you know what happened? Because the people decided not to believe Joshua, Joshua and Caleb. They decided to believe the other ten spies. You know what? God had to send them back into the wilderness for another 40 years because they didn't believe. Here I, got, I made some stick people. Here's two people over here and we got 10 over there. But you see, is it safe to believe something because a lot of people say it? No, because a lot of people say stuff and they say it's okay to sin. And that's not good, is it? We must never do something because other people are doing it. Many times only a few people choose to tell the truth, but that makes them strong. And we want to be strong for Jesus, don't we? And just because a lot of people are doing it, we don't want to be like that. Do you see my match here? Have your parents ever told you not to play with a match? I bet they have. You know this little flame can cause a lot of damage. And that's what happened in this picture here. It caught a house on fire by this little flame. And even can start a forest fire from just a little flame. And do you know that's kind of like our tongue, the things that we say out of our mouth? A lot of things can happen, can it? And that's what happened when those 10 men started talking about bad words. Even though they were just a few words about the giants and they felt like they couldn't win, they forgot about God. And that quickly spread all the way through the camp and the people chose to believe them. Let's choose today to ask God to control our tongue and only to speak good words, okay? Let's choose to give God our problems and let him take care of them this week, okay? Instead of dwelling on the bad things. Let's ask God to be with us. Let's bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this story. And thank you that we can trust on you, that you're big enough to take care of any problem that we have. And please be with our words that we speak, that they be uplifting and kind, Lord. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you're going to have a rest of the week that's good and the Sabbath day that you get to enjoy some sunshine. And have a good week. Bye.